Welcome back to the Worldwide Center of Math Pre-Calculus series. So today we're going to talk about polar coordinates and what the difference is from Cartesian coordinates and how to convert in between. So what I have behind me is a Cartesian coordinate plane. So this should look extremely familiar in algebra classes and everything you've ever done in mathematics. Your teacher would give you some x, y point and in order to graph it you move x units to the right or left and y units up or down and you get a point x, y on your plane. And so polar coordinates are just a different way of expressing the same point. Instead of using, instead of moving along the axes to move to, to find your point, what we do is take an angle from the origin. We use our angle from the origin and our distance from the origin r in order to locate our point. And so instead of x and y, we've got r theta for our ordered pair. So let's talk about can, uh, let's talk about how to plot different points in polar coordinates. All right, so let's do three different points. Let's start with one pi over four, and we'll also do two two pi over three. And just to see negative numbers, let's do negative 1, 5 pi over 4. So for the first one, what we're going to do is move our angle first. We're going to look at the right side first. So our angle, pi over 4 radians, is going to be along this ray. This is pi over 4 radians from the origin of our plane. And for our other coordinate, 1, we are moving one unit from the origin. We'll call it here, 1 pi over 4. So this is our point in a polar graph. And now we'll do 2, 2 pi over 3. So our angle, we're moving 2 pi over 3 radians from our origin. Our ray is going to be about here. And this time, instead of moving one unit, we're moving two from the origin. So, so one will be about here, making this two, two pi over three. And for our negative numbers, what we're going to do first is look at the angle still. We're going to move five pi over four radians. So this will give us this ray in the third quadrant here. And if this was a positive one, our point would be about here along the line. This would be positive 1, 5 pi over 4. But because it's negative, we're going to move backwards from the origin point instead. And so what we'll find is that negative 1, 5 pi over 4 is actually the same exact point as 1 pi over 4. This is really important in polar coordinates. You can have many, many different unique coordinate sets, but a lot of times they're going to overlap on your plane. All right, so let's talk about how to convert in between polar and Cartesian coordinates. I'm going to erase everything here and make our first quadrant a little bit bigger. So let's use this. All right, and so what we're going to have is a point our point r theta in polar coordinates. Let's put it here. So this is r theta. And so in order to convert this, what you need to notice is that if you drop down a parallel, what you have is just a right triangle. And if you label our different parts, this looks like the perfect setup for your trigonometry rules and the Pythagorean theorem. So we know from there we go our Sokotoa rules that our r is going to be equal to x cosine theta 
our r is also going to be equal to y times sine theta. And just in case you ever need it, tangent theta will be equal to x over y. And the Pythagorean theorem, we know that our r squared is always going to be equal to x squared plus y squared. So using these equations, you can convert between your polar and uh, your polar and Cartesian coordinates at any time. Thank you for watching our intro to polar coordinates video. Be sure to click on the sigma in the bottom right hand corner of this video to visit our website for more math resources, including our pre-calculus textbook.